every uh, tennis player dreams of playing on Wimbledon courts. I worked hard and I prepared mentally and physically for this um, to compete against the UK players. I have always dreamt of being here and playing on these courts. I'm actually both nervous and excited. I tried everything and I guess I deserved it. Like I was playing really hard and I'm really excited to play on these grass courts. There's nothing to lose. I just hope I enjoy this one week here. To tell the truth, I'm not feeling nervous. You know, I am just coming, you know, I'm going to perform well at this tournament. There's only one thought process which is coming in my mind. You know, any, anyhow, I have to go back to my house, you know, taking a trophy back home. The All England Lawn Tennis Club, home of the oldest and most prestigious Grand Slam event in the world. Since 1877, its beautifully manicured grass courts have played host to the all-time greats of the game. The championships have become a fundamental part of British culture and world sport. But since 2002, the All England Club has been helping to develop junior grassroots tennis with the HSBC Road to Wimbledon. I felt that uh, throughout the country, grass was not being used as much in the clubs as it used to be when I was a junior player myself. And I felt we needed to introduce a competition that with its, at its heart, grass court tennis and Wimbledon, because Wimbledon is such an inspiration to everybody, particularly juniors. A good game of tennis on a grass court is just unbeatable, just the, the feel of the, the court under your feet and the, the way the ball comes through onto the racket nowadays. The youngsters coming here for the, for the road to Wimbledon will recognise that, that playing on top quality grass courts in the championships is, is the pinnacle of the sport. The HSBC Road to Wimbledon tournament matches the best under-14s across the country in a series of county finals, culminating in the national finals at the All England Club. But in 2014, a new global dimension has been added to the championship. The All England Club has launched the Road to Wimbledon in India, aimed at boosting the development of junior tennis in the country. In the Indian pilot scheme has been discussed by us at the club for many years. With the club so interested in junior development, why not go into Asia more to promote the championships? As part of that event, former UK number one and HSBC ambassador Tim Henman, along with Dan Bloxham, head coach of the All England Club, hosted a special tennis clinic. Here we go, good, come on, in position. The world is sort of getting smaller and tennis has to contribute to, to sort of global experience. And I think uh, for the All England Club to, to go to countries like India that have a famous history in, in tennis is fantastic, you know. Uh, when we went there, we were amazed at how we were received. Thank you for a very nice day. A pilot scheme was run in conjunction with the All India Tennis Association in January in Mumbai and Delhi with the top 16 boys and girls qualifying for the Road to Wimbledon Masters in April. The two boys and girls finalists from the Masters won the ultimate prize of coming to the national finals and the chance to compete as wildcard entries on Wimbledon's famed grass courts. It's a very important endeavor for the juniors in the country. If you're getting an opportunity to be on grass, which is not very, very active now in India. Four young players are about to take the journey of a lifetime. Monday, day one of the competition. The four young players have arrived at the All England Tennis Club. Adil Kaliampur, Aja Chakraborty, Sedant Banthia, and Shivani Swarup Ingle. Adil and Sedant are slated to play their first round robin matches. Already facing the prospect of beginning their campaign against two of the top seeded players, the boys are about to discover how they can rise to the challenge of playing on a grass court for the first time. There is a chance some of them will have played on grass before, but uh, for those that haven't, it will be a new experience. It will be a, you know, a challenge to understand the movement and, and the way the ball reacts off the court. There's no golden dust to make, to make good players. You, know, you can't sprinkle stardust on people. It's all about ability. It's all about technique, physical development, parental um, assistance. Their standard is good, but I don't know what the standard is in comparison to the British guys and gals. You know, I don't know him. Just go into the match open-minded, take each point as it comes, and uh, just do my best to show him what I'm made of. I 
I had a little bit of a tough time in the beginning on grass court. Like it was a little bit wet, so I was to get my timing in was my first objective. I think I adapted to the situation quite well and I was able to pull through the match and fight and, you know, win eventually. It's a pretty good feeling having uh, beaten one of the uh, UK's best players. I served well today, but you know I could have given my ground strokes, uh, ground strokes much better. You know, I could have hit them much better, and especially on grass court when the ball was staying low, I was struggling for that. But yeah, I hope when I, you know, get used to grass, I'll perform much more better than what I did today. And so the first day for the Indian players comes to an end, with both boys winning their first matches on grass. Tomorrow, over 120 matches are scheduled for play. Among those ready to make their mark on the championships are Aja and Shivani. The wait is finally going to be over tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to playing on, playing a match on these grass courts. Each and every match is an important match. There's nothing to lose and I just hope I play one of the best tennis. Day two of the competition, and the girls are struggling to adapt as well as the boys. This is tough to them to play on grass court because they are they they played first time on grass court. This is difficult, but very good experience for them. Aja and Shivani lose their first matches. But despite the losses of their compatriots, the spirit in the Indian camp is still high. The road to Wimbledon is a journey of discovery for both the Indian and the UK players, both culturally and on the field of play. They are tasting what it feels like to step up onto the big stage of arguably the greatest tennis competition on the planet. I was not expecting that first round, but it was a good experience to see what it's like in different countries, to see how they play. Adil's like, yeah, he's a really nice person. He like, wants to know a lot about like English culture and everything like that. And same here with the Indian culture and stuff. I asked him about the grass here, so he's never played on grass before. Yeah, it's the first time. Well, he, he's looking pretty good on the grass. Adil was five years old when he received his first tennis racket. At nine, he won his first local tournament in his home city of Bangalore. But despite his love of the game, tennis is not simply an exercise in glory. My ambition really is to get to a high level in tennis professionally and uh, use my, um, my position to do good to the world and, you know, to help people in crisis. So I really want to help my country when I get better. I look at uh, Federer because of his, uh, he's like a gentleman. He's a good role model for juniors and I, I look up to him and I want to be like him when I grow up. Tennis can be very lonely, we've realized that pretty early. Uh, so to be here as a family, just bonding with him. So it's been a wonderful experience for all of us. Uh, uh, he's working really hard and all we can do is, you know, clap and, and love him. Well, you know, they're getting exposed to what it is uh, like to come to Wimbledon. I mean, this is the mecca of tennis after all. And, and, you know, I think it'll give them a lot more motivation to work harder so that they can come here and play in the junior Wimbledon and then hopefully in the professional uh, event as well. Day three of the competition and the boys are playing well. Both Adil and Sedant make it through to the main draw. Sedant emerging as the top player in his group. Even though Shivani can't quite match the fortune of Adil and Sedant, 
Aja is able to continue her winning streak and will now play in the girls' main draw. I think I moved well, got the match 6363. It was a good match and I served really well the whole day actually. I just knew I didn't have to give up this time. So I just kept going and kept fighting and that got me through. Yesterday I was nervous playing in front of all the cameras and all the people on, around here. And I was not even used to playing a match on grass, so I guess today I performed quite better. I guess Miller is a quite good player and she outplayed me. But that's all right, I learned a lot from that match. The road to Wimbledon is not just about tennis. Winning will always be the primary motivating factor, but the chance to discover new cultures as well as the complete Wimbledon experience and forge new friendships is adding a new dimension to the event. Coming here, making friends and having a great time while you're doing tournaments, which is not too much of pressure on them, I think it's a fabulous opportunity for them. I guess they were my first friends over here and they were very friendly, they cooperated, they told me how's the grass surface, they shared a few things with me. It was good to learn about their different cultures as well, to play tennis and learn more about them, what they do at home. I guess off-court making friends is no harm. Obviously on-court you and your ball and your racket, but I guess off-court it's very good to be friendly. Quarter-finals day, and all four Indian players are still in the competition. Sadant in the singles, and Aja and Shivani as well as the two boys in the doubles. While nerves are never far below the surface in the most battle-hardened of competitors, there's one player who seems to be unburdened with any thoughts of losing. Whenever I go on court, I just have to think that I have to give my game and not look at the opponent's game. I, I don't need to think what the opponent is doing, how, how scary is he, what is his attitude towards this game. I just have to give my best today. From the childhood, He's totally interested into sports. He has never seen any other stuff on the television. He has never been interested into any of uh, electronically operated toys or something like that. He's totally interested into the outdoor sports. And he has developed his uh, liking and love towards that game. Families come for me, you know, to support me, obviously all the way from India. I know they also have some high expectations from me and I, I would like to fulfill the expectations by, you know, going back with the trophy. The joy of Sedan's victory and passage through to the semi-finals is tempered by Aja eventually succumbing in her quarter-final. And in a surprise result, an agonizingly close defeat for Adil. Well, I should have played with a bit of um, playing safe and a bit of going for it. It's obviously disappointing after you lose a really close match which you could have won, but um, it's a learning and I know what I have to work on, so I'm going to go back to the drawing board and, you know, continue working hard to get to where I want to be. I played really good. I'm happy with the way I played, but she just kept all the balls and she moved really well and 
yeah, she just got all the balls in and she kept one extra ball than I did. So, yeah, I have to give her that. So. For the entire day, rain has threatened to bring a halt to proceedings. Only a handful of matches have been able to reach a conclusion, with many still in progress when tournament referee Denise Parnell has no choice but to call a halt to the action. By 4.40 p.m., with the weather showing no signs of subsiding, she's forced to announce that play is to be suspended for the rest of the day. The day dawns brighter for semi-finals day. As the only remaining Indian player in the singles competition, Sedan's main focus is on reaching the final, although he still has his sights set on the doubles final, playing alongside his compatriot, Adil. Despite losing in the group stages, Shivani has everything to play for in the consolation draw. And along with Aja, an opportunity to reach the finals of the girls' doubles. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah, we've decided a few things and we're gonna do that, but nothing else. We're gonna see who, are, who we are playing and then we talk a bit more. Aja and Shivani take a bit of time to gel and they lose the first set. But they recover impressively in the second set and take the match on a tense tiebreak. They are through to the final. Both Aja and Shivani have made the trip from India without their parents. They rely on their entourage of top Indian coaches, Asha and Vishal, as well as Manpreet from the All India Tennis Federation for support on and off the court. But for Aja, she has a uniquely solitary way of preparing for the match. I just sit alone in a room, I close my eyes and I just do, do, do a few breathing exercises. It makes my mind stay in the match, not think about, you know, what's going to happen after the match or, you know, what I'm going to say to you guys, uh, my parents. Like her three compatriots, Aja has had to make major sacrifices to pursue her dream. I start at 8 in the morning and then I finish at 2.30, then I take an hour to come back home and I have to take rest, then I have to study and everything, exercise a bit more, you know, I so I really don't get time to meet anybody. Only on weekends, I think, I go out for a movie with my family, not, not friends, because they have no time, actually, they have school and studies and so everything, so I really don't get any time to meet anybody. Sometimes I do feel like I'm missing out on stuff, but it's okay. I mean, I get to go out for tournaments and everything, so it, that covers it. In the meantime, Sadant prepares for arguably the most important game in his young career. Sedan starts well, taking the first set 6-1. The second set tells a different story. Every player comes over here to win. So he was also fighting in the second set. He never gave up. Second set, thought of what he was doing well to win points, what I was doing well. I then went out and used my strengths and executed it well to win the points, and then it helped turn the match back around. It's not often you can say you've seen your son play at Wimbledon. He's got a great attitude. He works very hard at his game. He trains hard, and he deserves to do well. But then, Sedan's determination starts to pay dividends. He claws the game back. Everything will be decided on the serve at tiebreak. Game over. Sedan has won. I tried to keep my nerves tight, and I was, I was, I was pretty happy at the end of the match that you know I handled the situation very well and I won the match. Once you've been here and seen what it's like, the next thing you want to do is to come back and play in the championships. And I think one or two of them might. I mean, uh, they're the best in their country. And we've seen some wonderful Indian players in the past, Ramanathan Krishnan and his son Ramesh, the Amritaj brothers. I mean, there have been plenty of good Indian players. Uh, no reason why these youngsters shouldn't emulate them. As with the past tournaments, the road to Wimbledon is capped off with a unique tennis clinic, hosted by Tim Henman and Dan Bloxham, 
where all players are put through their paces. For me, that's been one of the highlights of the last you know, 12, 13 years of the scheme is just seeing how much the standard has improved and, and uh, um, out there on the court, so there's some, some really, really good players. And so the journey nears its end. It's the morning of the final day of the road to Wimbledon. It's been a long week, but the young Indian players have risen to the challenge. Sedant is now on the verge of singles victory, with a chance also to capture the boys' doubles title with Adil. Not to be outdone, Aja and Shivani are also competing together for the girls' doubles trophy, with Shivani later participating in the finals of the girls' consolation draw. They've got a tough one uh, in the finals uh, against two really good British girls. And, uh, and yeah, they're in high spirits and, and, they're, and they're raring to go. They really want to get out on court and, you know, put their best foot forward and try and win the title. Arja and Shivani are up against tough competition. It's a close match, but in the end, the girls can't quite match the form of the number one seeds. In the doubles final, Adil and Sedant are also up against stiff competition. The boys start in uncompromising style, winning their first set comfortably. But an injury to Pierce Widdicombe brings the match to a premature conclusion. Having won the first set, Adil and Sedant are awarded the match. Meanwhile, Shivani prevails over her opponent to take the girls' consolation trophy. There's one more match to play, the boys' singles final, and Sedant is up against the number one UK seed. I'm sure he'll have a few butterflies in his stomach, but um, I think he'll do a good job today. You've got to focus on the, the way that you want to play and the outcome will take care of itself. If you go on court and you're you know, thinking or, or too worried about winning and losing, then you're not going to concentrate on your game plan and that's, that's the most important aspect. The thing is, I mean, pressure is with everybody. It's all, it all depends how you take it, you see. I watched Linda Pays when he won his uh, juniors here. I was with him. And um, I think uh, this boy has tremendous potential. Sedant wins the first set on a tie-break. But he loses the second set 6-3. Will his trademark coolness under pressure prevail? It does. Sedant runs away with an impressive clean sweep in the final set. Mission accomplished. This is what I was feeling throughout the weekend, you know, when I was in India. It was definitely a long journey and I just had one thing in my mind, I have to come over here and win every match I play. It's been a great experience and I'm going to miss playing on these grass courts. I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to come here and to see where I want to be in a few years. And I mean, I'll never forget this place. It's an absolute privilege to be able to play on these courts at Wimbledon. You can actually, like, you can go home and you can, like, tell your friends, I played on the courts of Wimbledon. I think that's probably the best bit. I guess it's been an awesome experience playing with the UK kids here on the grass courts and the climate over here. And I'm going to miss each and every one over here. Hopefully this is the start of the process. You know, we'd love to see some of these kids returning here possibly playing in the junior championships for the under 18s and, and you know, the dream would be that amongst any of these kids that we have a future women champion. It's been an unforgettable experience, but the journey is far from over. 2014 was just the beginning for India and the road to Wimbledon. In 2015, that journey will continue 
with the goal of opening the tournament up into a truly pan-Asian event. Sadant was the first Indian player to ever win the road to Wimbledon. And his next destination is the Junior Wimbledon Championships. Who knows, maybe one day Sadant and his fellow Indian players will be joining the legends of the center court. I feel actually amazing, uh, you know, I don't have any words to describe what I'm feeling now. To go back with the trophy, that's what my, I dreamt, yeah. Uh, that's what I did for all my supporters, my family members who came just uh, to watch my match. It will be a gift for me, uh, for them. <laughs>